guys, it's me, Melissa Marie, and welcome to my living room refresh, update, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing today. Hey guys, it's me, Melissa Marie, and I'm so excited because I have a great video for you today. And actually, I don't even know if that intro was necessary because this is going to be something that's going to take me time. So I probably have already put a, I'm probably future me will put a proper intro because this is just the beginning stages of this right here. So, um, and I don't want to put this all out until everything's finished. But with all that said, this is my living room in the background. I live in a, a two bedroom apartment, a uh, small apartment, like just two bedroom apartment. So, um, wow, I just went blank. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, so honestly, this, this is going to serve as the before, but quite honestly, this is already a slight update, believe it or not. And I will show you, I will link the video below and maybe put like a little clip in here of what it really did look like before I even did this. And now this is still a slight update from that because I already started moving things over like this desk. Um, this is my workout center. All these things have already began to move over. I've already, this mirror that's on the wall was, it had brown trim, I've painted it white. So I have made some minor updates and changes, but I really want to continue to kind of bring this space up a little bit. You know, not even up, because honestly, I'm taking a very cheap, inexpensive way uh, to do this. So it's not even gonna really upscale it. But what it is gonna do, it's gonna make a place, make it a place where I wanna spend more time just hanging out. And other than that, when we have a TV in here, we have everything in here, it's ready to be a comfortable place to just chill, but we don't. So I would love to make it more like that cool place to be, hang out, have company over, have family over, family can stay the night, things like that. But I'm already rambling too much. With all that said, the first thing we are doing today is tackling this door. Now I have a video which I will link below, which to me is kind of funny now, of me, the other side of this door was me decorating that. Now I used poster board and Dollar Tree peel and stick brick. And then I just had a sheer curtain on the other side of this door, which serves as the covering for that door. And I didn't even know that you could actually already buy door like peeling stick uh, paper. Like I didn't know you can just buy that. It's on Amazon. I'll link it below the one that I got. Here's what the roll is from Amazon. Like I said, I'll link this one below. I'm also going to get more because I want to do another door over here. By the time this video comes out, all of these should be all ready and everything will be shown. But this is where we're starting. Now, the other thing is when I did this in my room before, I also was concerned that I might damage the doors because I am a renter. So I don't know if this is gonna be able to peel off the door without any damage. That's why I used the poster board the first time. But I think I've made up in my mind that worst case scenario, if the door is damaged, I can replace the door. It's not like these are, as you can see, this is why I'm doing this. These doors are not like really nice looking. I, I think I can probably afford to replace the door if, if it boils down to that when I move. So hopefully it won't ruin my whole deposit. Hopefully I just re you know replace the doors if need be. So we're gonna keep going. ASMR, a little ASMR here.
So I took the blade and I just did like an X. And I'm gonna see if I can use that to fit the doorknob through. So let's see. ASMR. A little more ASMR. Or is this me just really struggling to get this to fit? My mom told me to actually take the doorknob off, which now I'm probably thinking I should have listened to her, but of course, I always wanna do it my way. Where am I actually gonna cut this? No, I'm scared to cut it because I feel like it's not gonna look right. Um, all right, let's see. Okay, that got over. Let me slip this. There's definitely imperfections. I think I messed up <laughs> for sure. You can see it right down right there. But if I didn't tell you that, I don't think anyone would truly notice. And um, it might be a little bit off center, but you can't really tell from just looking. I'm really excited about it. That is the start to my living room refresh. I really don't have much. I really never sought out to fully furnish and buy for this living room. I don't know why, I just never really have. The one thing I did get was the TV. Right here, um, I did get the TV and I did get this TV stand. That's pretty much the only thing I really bought for this. Um, I do have a desk that way, desk printer stuff. The rest of this stuff over here is all Hildy stuff, my cat stuff. And then I do have a sofa over here. So with the sofa, I am going to put, this is like a really big closet. Um, and I am going to probably put a library theme on the back of this door or something of that sort. I'm not really sure. Sorry about all this. This is like kind of embarrassing. But I wanted that particular door to have like that outside feel. This is where we work out. Um, and it, I think it'll just make you feel like you're getting air. You're pumping out. You're working out outside or something. I don't know. But that's all for now. Hold on, let me, put my, let me put my new backdrop in. But that's all for this part of it. This video is not over. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna try, I, I know I spoke so much. I'm gonna speed things up, talk less, just show more, and we'll see how everything turns out. <laughs> hey guys, so it is approximately almost two months later. So it's like a month and a half later, and I finally ordered the, um, this, the wallpaper thing that I want to put on this door. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to put it as a time lapse because uh, obviously we've pretty much seen it. I might even cut it out to be honest with you because you saw me do the first one. But I'll just do a time lapse just in case I do decide to keep it in. Or I might do like that YouTube magic they say. Like, oh, here's the door. Snap. Here it is. So we'll see <laughs> which one we choose. But let's get started.
They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that could make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a f come and keep chasing And this is the finished product Not perfect, just like the other one I even had to take down there These doors aren't that great So it's fine, we're gonna keep it Hildy seems very interested <laughs> But we're going to move on to the rest of the living room. So this part here is funny to me because it reminds me of the 10 second tidy. I forget what children's show it was, but they used to have like a 10 second tidy. That's what this looks like all sped up like this. you were wondering Hildy is my supervisor she's perched there on the red stool she just has to supervise the situation <laughs> If you watch this time lapse, it's so funny. Look for Hildy. Look how she's like darting around the room. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've gotten all the pictures aligned and I think that's the layout I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you where I'm thinking about putting this. Thinking about putting it on the, along this wall here. So basically, my desk is here and you know, there's just a space there. So I'm thinking about putting it there. I'm trying to do like that tile look, like there's a there's a company that actually does it. My my um brother's girlfriend has it all over her place her mother they and it looks so cool i didn't go that route i just transferred all the photos i had from over there i'll show you like a clip of what it looked like before and then i just put them all into these which is what you just saw me doing um i time lapsed it so it looked really fast but it took a good little while but i was just watching tv while i did it um i'm gonna try to get this up there now i want to do this layout that i showed you and i'm thinking well, I am going to have to do nails. That's a thing. I'm going to have to do little, I'm going to try to do little nails, small, small, small nails, or even thumbtacks even I think would do it. Um, so that I don't create such a large hole because I have, it's 13 here. I actually bought 15 frames, but two of them, I was like, you know what? I don't want to put, it's not that I don't want to put them up. They, I think they look good in the frames that they're already in. And I think I have other little spots where I want to put other pictures like still there. So these are going to go on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I was trying to do this technique with the painter's tape. I had a ruler. I was making markings. For the most part, it, it comes out looking pretty good. But to be honest with you, I probably should have done it a different way. But there you have it.
so I really loved how this turned out before as you saw I just had too many pictures jumbled up there so now I just have a select few there and the rest are on the wall and I like this a lot better I know the bottom two shelves seem cluttered it is what it is but I'm enjoying this a lot better than before okay in this next clip in this next clip I'm basically just trying to put everything together to see how it looks with the new rug and the table on the coffee table I mean excuse me and I'm using these Dollar Tree items to decorate the coffee table but as you can see the door behind it does not have the library theme as yet so I went a kind of think it was like a couple weeks I'm not really sure how long or I don't know if it was days or weeks but I did this part waited a little while and then when I ordered the library uh, theme then I put that on the door so that's why it's not up there yet couple of months of things that I've done and put together and hopefully I will have explained a lot of the different things throughout the video but I'm just gonna give you just the final little walkthrough so the first area will start here you know you saw me put on this this wall what's this called the door uh, peel the stick thing um, and this is our weight room area and yeah we enjoy it and it works out for us and just to reiterate you know I live in a two bedroom apartment and there's limited space. So my son has his room, I have my room and we need areas and, and you'll notice like things may seem cluttered but we just do not have a lot of space so we're trying to be creative. Could I be a little bit different, more elevated? I'm sure I can but this is what we're working with. Okay guys, so next right over here is where I call like the welcome area and the mail area and basically that's it you know when mail comes in we kind of just put it here obviously i cleared it out for today and then i also have a, a book booklet that i put like mail that i'm not ready to open but go through here like important documents that goes there this is my lovely um what is this called again my storage not my storage yeah my storage for my crafts so again that's how we're doing it so everything is not completely like neat okay so so next um, is like the actual living room area. So that is this. You saw me put on the library wall. This sofa my grandmother gave me. It's very old. That's why I had this cover on it. The fade is very faded. It's missing some things like the cushion and whatever. So I have the cover on it for that. Um, this works out great because this is easy to clean off. Like if Hildy's fur gets on it and it's hard to see the fur. This is the Ikea table that you saw me put together. So I'm gonna get these little items. These are all from Dollar Tree, by the way. Over here is my little chair that my grandma also, well, when my grandma passed away, this was one of the things that my aunt let me have. And I do, again, keep it covered. This is really nice, actually, but I wanna keep it covered because I don't want my cat to mess it up. Um, I'll put a clip in of this back here because you can't really see it, but that is my cat's new cat tree. She loves it. And then everything over here on this side, um, it's a work in progress in my opinion because it's very cluttered, but again, using the space as I can. So we got our cat's litter box, this little table. I have these two tables. I had them for so long. I did just put the little peel and stick on top of them. That one's very useful. It holds our printer. This one, it holds some of our cat stuff, but honestly, really what it's for i guess is to hide the stuff underneath it um our cat perches on there then over here my desk my newly um i, I want to keep saying upholstered but my newly uh lined desk i put the peel and stick on it from amazon and i used to literally when i worked from home worked at this desk and it wasn't here i kind of rearranged the living room i didn't show that part but this um was not here but now I can work on my laptop here or do little videos even here. So 
I love that for me. Um, here's like that beautiful picture wall that was shown. That was the process. You did see me do that in the video. So I love that. And over here, we come to where the TV stand is. Now, I love, oh my goodness, I forgot to dust this. That's okay. Uh, I just love like how you can actually see the space better. I had so many pictures. I mean, even down here is still cl cluttered, but removing those pictures and putting them on the wall was the best thing I could have done. It just looks so much better. <laughs> update i know it's pretty basic pretty average but we like it and i think that's what really matters and i hope that by you watching it you are excited to try new things did not have to spend a lot of money use what you have rearrange things um dress them up a little do what you can and you know get your living room to how you want it to be as always i really really truly appreciate you watching if you did like the video please leave a thumbs up um, if you're not subscribed, please click the red subscribe button. But as I always say, I really just truly appreciate you tuning in and watching. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.